Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Did you know that Johns Hopkins is looking for 10,000 participants in a federally funded study on marijuana? Wanted to jump into this for you, share it with you, and uh, see if we could find out uh, any additional information. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is because the VA is kind of teetering back and forth with being more involved with medical marijuana. So let's jump into this and see if we could pick out anything along the way. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. The two asks, you already know, hit the thumbs up and let the video run. That's what pushes this information out. If you want to support in other ways, consider being a member. Uh, go to the home page and you will see the of the channel, home page of the channel, and you will see a highlighted member section and a little join button somewhere. All right, let's jump into it. A new study by researchers at Johns Hopkins University will track 10,000 medical marijuana patients over a year or more in an effort to better understand the efficiency and impacts of cannabis therapy. Funded with a five-year, $10 million grant from the National Institute on Drug Abuse, the research team will work with federal researchers and the nonprofit realm of caring, among others, to collect data around dosing, delivery methods, chemical composition of products, possible medication interactions, and other treatment details. Our mission with this research is to understand the health impacts of therapeutic cannabis use. One of the study's co-creators, Ryan Vandry, a professor, a professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine said in the statement, we hope to provide some starting points for understanding what types of products may or may not be helpful and what types of products may be more risky for use in certain populations or for certain therapeutic, therapeutic purposes. Under the umbrella term of cannabis exist hundreds of products that are all different in very important and significant ways, he added. We're trying to narrow the scope a, uh, a little bit and find areas of real promise and focus uh, the science on those. Makes sense. Despite a notable increase in published research around marijuana in, free, in recent years, obstacles to science caused by federal cannabis laws means clinicians are playing are still are playing still catch up in a country where more than three quarters of states have legalized the drug for medical use we have the ability of cannabis as a therapeutic he said but we're lacking the quality of data that we have with other medicines a Johns Hopkins press release says the National Cannabis Study, which is part of a larger cannabis and health research initiative, will follow the nationally represented cohort consisting of an estimated 10,000 patients as they, uh, as they progress from cannabis na uh, naiv naivety, I can barely say it, naivety, naivety, yeah, whatever, through a year or more of cannabis use. Um, all right, moving on. We're tracking them with multiple assessments over the course of their first year with more tightly spaced assessments toward the beginning because our assumption is that people are starting their medical cannabis journey. They're likely going to try different products until they find the products that best help them with their symptoms. A project collaborator and mental health professor at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health stated. As the university pursues its own research initiative, the National Institute of Health recently posted a notice of funding opportunity announcing that it is looking for an entity to operate a new resource center for cannabis and cannabinoid research through a cooperative agreement in order to address challenges and barriers to conducting research on cannabis and its uh, constituents. Addressing marijuana research barriers has been a key priority for multiple federal health agencies as scientists continue to face an erroneous or an onerous and costly registration process in order to access cannabis due to its current uh, status as a Schedule I drug under the Controlled Substances Act. That policy is actively under review by the Drug Enforcement Administration, allowing U.S. Department of Health and Human Services recommendations to move cannabis to a Schedule 3. So, 
that concludes it. Just wanted to bring you in the loop to let you know that there is more and more eyes on marijuana and uh, its potential um, impacts for treatment. With that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.